YTPC Padre Piper coming to you via the virtual airwaves of YouTube saying hello YouTube Pipe community. I hope you are finding the blessings in your life. I'm blessed. You know why? I got a box in the mail today. You can see I've already opened it, but uh, I wanted to do a little bit of an unpacking for it. And uh, what is it? Well, it's from Missouri Mearsheim, who, as of today, when I'm filming this video, July the 18th, uh, they have a bit of a price increase on their products. And I think that um, anybody who knows anything about Missouri Mearsheim would say that's okay. It's still a great deal. There's uh, nothing like uh, a Missouri Mearsheim corn cob for the price. There really, there really isn't. So uh, the economy's good. They're trying to hold on to good employees the price of doing business has gone up and they have to uh, pass that a uh, little bit of an increase on to consumers and we can all understand that but i'll tell you a little secret our friend scott over at aristocop still has old prices and that's not going to be for forever though i think maybe till the end of this month uh, somewhere around the first weekend in July, he's going to have to, of course, as a distributor, he's going to have to go up as well on his prices. But if you want to get in on some old prices on some Missouri Meerschaum stuff, go over to Aristocob.com, check out and see what Scott's got going on for you. I want to give a shout out too, before I go any further, it's an old codger shout out. Because when you talk about corn cobs to me, I think that that is just codgery, which is cool. Old Codger Smoking Pipe, one of the finest uh, Facebook pipe communities uh, out there. Check them out. I'm going to say hello to all my Codger friends that are over there. Uh, in particular, uh, David Morgan, who I believe is one of the uh, administrators or something important. He's, he's on there a lot. Uh, but go ahead and check them out if you haven't seen him. In fact, I have to tell you this. A few weeks ago, maybe a month or so ago, I was the Codger of the month over there at, uh, at that particular site. Um, I'm sorry, I was the codger of the week. Uh, right after that, they changed it over to codger of the month. Um, and uh, it's just a neat place, really good guys. What you're gonna find there is folks who just like, uh, like community, kind of like YTPC, good folks, uh, good intentions, good hearts, and um, there's a couple of sites that uh, on Facebook for pipes where it just seems like stuff's always blowing up. It usually has to do with somebody having a takedown posts that are inappropriate or not pipe related or involves something. I, you know, uh, there's there's even a site that it seems like a requirement to post on. It has to be that you've got to include obscenity in. Go over to old codger smoking pipe and I, I promise you that's uh, one of the best pipe places on Facebook you won't be disappointed so let's get back to um, to the old uh, Missouri Meerschaum they, they've got their uh, price increase uh, going into effect as of today still a great bargain one of the things that they've changed you remember the old 10 pipe grab bag ain't there no more they now have what they call their seven day set of smokable seconds. And I wanna show you uh, my seven day set of smokable seconds that came in today. Uh, one of the things that they, uh, they did, so they decreased it obviously from 10 second pipes down to seven seconds pipes, but they've um, puts it at a little bit higher cost per pipe in the bag. But what they've done is they've also uh, guaranteed that at least five of those seven pipes are going to be uh, legend size or better. And uh, true to that word, five of my pipes of this seven, I'm going to show them to you, were indeed legend size. Now, I always confused a legend in the Missouri Pride uh, if I'm not mistaken, the only difference is the shank. One has a hardwood shank, one has a, a corn cob shank. And I believe that the one with the corn cob shank is the legend. Don't quote me on that. I'm really not good with these shapes. But anyway, so I got one of those, okay? And then I got five, uh, four more of these with the, uh, the hardwood shank. Uh, all of them came with amber bits. Um, two of them came with the bent amber bits. You can see four of the five have the hardwood, one has the 
corn cob shank, and of course they're all seconds, so they've got you know the marking on it. Uh, but hey, nothing wrong with that. Definitely good for you know just putting around, having a, a pipe that uh, you're not all that concerned about. If you drop it, you break it, you lose it somewhere, you're fishing and it goes in the water, you know, you don't have a whole lot of money. Two other pipes that came in this package for the to make up the seven. Uh, I need your help on one of them. But first, let me show you the sixth pipe. It's this uh, nice little Devil's Ants Acorn. You see, it's got the little marking on it, making it a second. And I'm gonna show you why it's a second. We'll just flip it over and you can see. It's got a little, little problem right there. You know, there's something about an imperfect pipe. I just like it, I feel drawn to it. Uh, you know, all of us have a little bit of brokenness in us, right? So why not have a little bit of brokenness in your pipe? A little bit of, a little bit of imperfection. Just, just own it, codger. All right, and here's number seven. I don't know what this is. I can't identify this pipe. I put a message into Scott over at Aristocob with a picture to see if he could help me. You know, um, he hasn't gotten back to me yet by the time I was recording this. Uh, and probably with my luck, as soon as I hit the stop button, his response will come back to me. But let me show you what it is. This pipe, this is number seven. Now to me, that looks, that's a little, looks like a barrel. It's unfinished or what they call uh, in the corn cob world of Missouri Meerschaum, they call that naked. It's naked, okay? It looks to me like it would be a Morgan, except for this. The Morgan doesn't take a filter, and it has a short uh, stem on it. This has a longer stem, and it takes the six millimeter filter. So I don't know what kind of Missouri Meerschaum pipe this is, other than a second. And maybe it was just kind of a mess up all the way around. Maybe it was supposed to have been a Washington and it, it was too short. I don't know. Somebody with greater knowledge might be able to, uh, to clue me in on that. And frankly, I don't care because I think it's a cool pipe. Again, it's kind of imperfect and I kind of like that. I'm looking forward to putting those to good. Corn cobs are just great. If you want to try something new out, you're afraid it's going to ghost one of your favorite briars, that's what a corn cob is made for. So uh, let me show you what else I got. Some cool stuff, I mean, just some pipe cleaners, nothing big about that. But I did get myself a Missouri Meerschaum corn, shop, corn cob baseball cap. I like it. I like it. Can't wait to, to get that thing uh, worn. That's good for summertime. Uh, $11.99, if I'm not mistaken. Got myself a Missouri Meerschaum t-shirt. I'm, I'm doing the Missouri Meerschaum swag. Look at that. Huh? What'd you think of that? That's nice. I think this was uh, $9.99. I'm paying them to do advertising for them. Ah, it's all right. Look at this. These are $1.50 a piece, these little koozies. Uh, you put your cold drinks in them, right? Uh, Missouri Meerschaum drink koozies, gotta like that. And then finally, I have never used one of these, but I bought one. I'm gonna see what it's all about, uh, how they work with uh, the corn cobs. Uh, you know, sometimes you're smoking outside, you get the wind as a problem, and this little wind screen is supposed to help with that. So we're about to find out if that's the case. I'm gonna put that to good use and experiment with it and see what it's all about. So that's, that's my, uh, my box was already open. That's my unpacking today from Missouri Meerschaum. And uh, again, get on over to Aristocob if you wanna get some, uh, some yesteryear prices before he goes up on his as well. Um, and uh, don't forget to check out the old Codger smoking pipe on Facebook. Great community for pipe smokers. Now, if you saw my previous video from over the weekend, you know I've expanded my social media presence, so I invite you to follow me on the Instagram. I invite you to follow me on the Twitter. Um, I have to put the in front of that because it, you know, it's how us old codgers talk. We, uh, we don't know all about this technology. And if you want to find out how I got myself thrown off of Instagram, you can also check out my previous video as well. <laughs> but uh, yeah, 
So uh, Instagram.com slash Padre Piper, Twitter.com slash Padre Piper. Uh, and uh, I'd love to be able to keep up with you on those other social media platforms as well. Padre Piper, wishing you and yours God's peace, grace, and blessing.